The traditional way that the EPA requires landfills to measure surface methane concentrations is by taking a measurement tool, taking a measurement, and then moving forward to a certain distance and taking another measurement all throughout the landfill. It takes a lot of time and effort, and you don't really know what's happening in between, which can be problematic. All right, the light's on. I'm taking off. We use drones a lot and it's great because they can be programmed autonomously. So we can highlight an area and we basically just hit go and the drone will be able to do the whole survey itself. Landfills are no longer just containment facilities, but energy production plants. As moisture goes in, gas is generated, and about 50% of it is methane. There is untapped energy potential that right now is not only just not used, but it's potentially leaked into the environment. Methane, it's uh, contributing to global warming significantly, much more than carbon dioxide. UAVs that are equipped with optical cameras and was also carrying an infrared camera can collect imagery to create 3D models of the landfills for a number of applications, including collecting methane concentrations at the ground surface. The bigger drone, we mounted on it a TDL, a tunable diode laser. It's essentially a laser that is tuned to sense methane concentrations. And we're hoping that our own measurements will show that there is an, an untapped energy generation potential from the solid waste that is not being used and actually should be taken advantage of. UAVs can do that in a very automatic, in an organized manner with specific measurement distance and collect data of better quality than what humans could do.